the forehead of your robot. Dreams. Dreams are to me just much better than life. Dreams are something that are absolutely magical and wonderful that you prefer living there than life itself. Life is boring, life is lame. Working, schooling and nothing too wonderful happens. You even sometimes have dreams of deja vu. Things you recalled in the past. I have been a male student living in Iowa since the day I was born. Not very much a special state, but does have its qualities to it. And if you're wondering why this has to do with dreams, let me tell you something. There is a genre of stories of people that once saw lost media. Yes, dreaming of lost media is very possible for some people, and even leads them to search for the media. How is it that basically? You know how you'll likely lose memories of your past selves and forget about them? Well sometimes you then remember them again by some sort of home video of pretty much you as some sort of baby, or toddler. At age 3, I remember watching something that was absolutely horrific for me at that time. It wasn't a gore video, nor a live action horror movie. But rather a 2D cartoon movie, that looked to appear to be made in the 80s. It was like 57 minutes long, and I think it was a movie that was never supposed to be targeted towards kids, but an older audience. For some reason, I had two dreams of two scenes I could only remember after those. One night I didn't sleep too well, but I did fall asleep at 4 in the morning. I forgot to take my night medicine, and therefore, I couldn't sleep too well. What I dreamed that night was the beginning of the animated film. I was sitting on the bed watching television. The film begins with our character, who was a man with a flannel and jeans, had blue eyes and blonde hair. He was actually feeding the chickens and cows. All of a sudden it was about to storm out. So he went inside and my dream ended there. I wrote this dream down in my dream journal after that. Then days later, I began to kind of reunite a memory I had as a three-year-old at the time. But I never fully remember the rest of the film, but until six months later. During that time, I actually was at a motel during a trip to Wyoming. I was basically going to my brother's house, and began recognizing something familiar when I slept. However I slept well and took my medicine after that. But the dream I had, was the scene that haunted me as a three-year-old child. I was at the television screen again, and I was inside an empty living room. It's just a couch and a television inside it. It seems to me that it was a day hour out in that dream, and looked at that screen. The scene was the man, he was walking to the cornfields and the skies. The skies were well, very and I mean very well done and bone chilling. They didn't look very realistic, or anything like that, but the way those dark grey skies look and how it feels was really fantastic and well colored. It feels like some sort of horror indie game. But anyway, the man walks towards the fields and finds something. The camera angled towards what appears to be a hole. But this is where things get really disturbing. All of a sudden, its head appeared and slowly got out of the hole. It was feet away from the man, and I will describe this creature. It is a human body, attached to a tarantula. Think about a centaur but a tarantula. Not only that, he had these snake eyes, he had rotten sharp teeth, horns on its bare back, and had a tail of a horse. It made a horrendous roar, and ran very fast. The man ran as quickly as he could. Until he stops at a dead end. However there are more monsters, and they are very creepy too. They cornered the man, so he couldn't get out. It cuts back to the sky and shows our second monster. The second creature was a green owl, with a head of a lion, it had human teeth, and the thing made a sound, that sounded like an eagle mixed with a morning dove, and a dog growling all together. Then it cuts back to the dead end, and the monsters are trapping the man. There were the zombies. Nothing too special about them, but the way they spoke was too unsettling. Then the fourth creature was an ape, with a large frog head and fangs, he had cat paws. Then the fifth creature was the most horrifying, a malnourished man's body, with arms and legs of an elephant. It cuts to them all approaching the man and devouring him. I eventually woke up from the dream, and began to actually memorize this film I've watched as a three-year-old all of a sudden. It scared the living shit out of me, but I don't know how I even got a dream on me watching a film, when I watched it during that age, and now I have never memorized much at all nowadays. 
I was still a freaking adult from those dreams, and now I begin to recognize a film I haven't seen for a long time. This led me to a search. I went to the r slash the tip of my tongue subreddit, and asked about this movie, I began to realize quickly after a random dream. All I know is those dreams just act familiar. But the thing is, the movie is lost forever. But people have been familiar with this supposed lost film, and they claim it's about a farmer realizing weird things around his farm, and investigated it to see what it was, and saw that there were a bunch of creatures all of a sudden that killed him. People also had weird dreams of lost media, that they would begin to recognize all of a sudden. I heard this while looking up media in dreams. I heard there's sometimes music, movies, TV shows or whatever that doesn't exist in the real world, and only existed in dreams. But there have been times of people following it, and sometimes even finding it. I hope I'll find this film someday.